Good evening, everyone. I'm Adrian Ochoa with your look at sports. It's time to get down to business as the 90th edition of the Tony the Tiger Symbol, just two days away. The teams are in town. The welcome celebrations are over. Now it's time to get to work. Team practices are underway. We'll go ahead and start with the Beavers from Oregon State. They've set up shop over at Eastwood High School. The Beavers having to fill some holes for players who have opted out of the game, and that includes their starting quarterback as backup Brent Gulbrinson, number 17 right there, will get the start on Friday. He's got the confidence of his teammates. Yeah, definitely. I have 100% I have confidence in Ben, you know. You know, seeing him through practice this year and even last year, you know, he led us to seven, seven games and, and a bowl game win. So, you know, we're extremely confident high on Ben and, you know, ready to compete this Saturday or Friday. So, yeah. Practice has been good. I think we've had a lot of time to prep, um, to work around some of those kinks about players who are not with us. But ultimately, it's about the guys that are here. And I think that we have a step up mentality of the next man's up. As for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, they're holding practices over at the SAC. Video here showing the team's arrival. And then head coach Marcus Freeman shaking hands with his players during warm-ups. Notre Dame will also be relying on their backup quarterback as well. Their starter also opted out of the game. So the job will fall on the shoulders of sophomore Steve Angeli. The Irish at 9-3 and three on the season will be looking to get win number 10. And El Paso is as good as a place as, as any to accomplish that goal. Um, energy's been high, especially after last night, you know, um, after our first practice here. And, um, you know, they're not lying about it. Is, it's not called Sumbo for, for no reason. So, you know, just, just coming out here and, and being able to play football again, especially for me in my home state, um, the energy's been pretty high. It's first about just winning the, winning the game, you know, 1 0, but obviously that's in the back of our mind, um, sitting at 9 right now and coming from 9 last year, you know, just to take a step forward in, for the program and as a team. Tony, the Tigers' Sun Bowl game is this Friday. Kickoff scheduled for noon. Finally.